Okay, so um, one of the things that you had hit on was just money. Yeah, they use their money and their media, you know, fame, influence, um, to move us individually, to create stars or celebrities that we all going to focus on that have some kind of talent or have some kind of electric personality. And they, they use them, like Malcolm X said, they use the leaders or the preachers or whatever as pacifiers, you know, once we start waking up and, and getting riled up and start demanding our own, then he throws money in, in a media flood, a propaganda campaign behind specific hand put, hand-picked mm -hmm. little magicians or minions of his that's going to keep us distracted. That's going to make us turn from this goal and, and go over to that goal of go for self or ball out or party or, yes, you know. Yes, yes. I mean, I know we're talking about culture vultures. Yeah. Um, and I know culture vultures can come in all different shapes. Oh, yeah. Right? So yeah. we're going to have to get into that on another video. Mm -hmm. But like you said, they put people in place. Yeah. Right? So they're selected. Just like all the presidents. Mm -hmm. Selected before they elected. So um, it's all by design. It's all social engineering. It's all behavioral science. You know, stimulus and response. So they've been practicing on us for centuries so they you know they know us better than we know ourselves okay you're going to drop the link to your culture vulture video yeah you're going to also drop a link so that we can see the the dm yeah we can see the whole conversation dm conversation and um see the context of it and how to how to get on these people neck get how to how to put pressure on them. Yeah. you don't have to physically do nothing to them but like you said earlier Hurt their pockets. First hurt their image like they do us, you know, and then hurt their pockets. So even if you go on Vlad or whatever, go on there and make him uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Don't go on in there and smile and showing your teeth and trying to be friends with him. Right. Go in there knowing what he is and what he'll do and what he has done. So many of our artists that got, got on his platform, that's an enemy. That's they, an enemy to they us. They definitely make an example out of us when we say something yeah. against. Do claim to be an atheist, but when it came to what he, you know, perceived or, or felt like Minister Farrakhan was saying against his so-called religious uh, people, he jumped right on code. He got he got Ashkenazi in a minute, in a second. He jumped right on code. He jumped right on code. I thought you was an atheist, so. We got to jump right on code. What's, you have a song called something with code? Yeah, stay on code, staying on code. I'll have put the link. That. Yeah, yeah you might have link. to drop that in the yeah. description as well. So for us that really need you to clarify, we, mm -hmm. we get the point about culture vulture, but just give us a definition of what a culture vulture is so that we can identify culture vultures when we see them. Yeah, culture vulture is a culture appropriator or a parasite. You know, what I mean, a blood sucker, a vampire, somebody that's not from the culture, that has no roots in the culture, is not an originator of the culture, but they get up next to you close enough to wake, they can attach on to you mm -hmm. and, and hit a vein, you know what I'm saying? A, a vein of talent, a vein of in inspiration, a, a vein of culture, and they, and they bleed you dry, you know what I'm saying? All the resources, all, everything that... The benefits that that's supposed to that you supposed to and you and your people are supposed to get from your talent, mm. they get siphoned to to the to the parasite to the tape worm. Got it. Right? So a lot of times these culture vultures make more off of your talent than you make off of your own talent. All the time. All Not the time. a lot of time. That's the nature of once you have a parasite, you have parasites. They're going to win. They're going to set your appetite. They're going to set your your mood, they're going to set everything. You you think you're hungry. No, it's the parasite that's hungry. You got mm. you you keep feeding the parasite and you're not getting satisfied. It's going to the parasite. Okay. Right? So that the more you, you know, you feed the parasite or the more, you know, you know, the less satisfied you are. So you got to keep on working just to get a little bit of satisfaction. But somebody's getting all of the satisfaction. Somebody getting all of the, the riches, all of the benefits. You know, all of the royalties, all of the fame, all, you know. So that's what a culture vulture is. In a, in a 5% nation, it's described as the 10% wickedly wise, the blood suckers of the poor. Okay. 
Okay. So before we exit out of here, I'm about to test your um, your rap memory. Mm-hmm. You have a line in that culture v- vulture song, mm-hmm. and it's something about Sasquatch, Sasquatch, and mm-hmm. drop that line for us real quick before we. Since you be always dropping names, I got you fame and cash. Get some clout off of this knockout. Shout out Damon Dash. Yeah, your race came last. You just a baby playing hopscotch. Original Cadian. F up out of here, Sasquatch. Campaign trail. Culture vultures. <laughs> <laughs>